Hi there, and welcome at Smelly Art. The new Marvel film Black Widow just hit the theaters, and that inspired me to make a cool illustration of Natasha Romanoff, aka Black Widow. Really excited for this one, so let's draw! And here we go for a fun illustration of one of my favorite Marvel characters, Black Widow. And make sure to watch the whole video, guys. I've included a mini tutorial on how to draw tech backgrounds in this video. These are really easy and great fun to draw, so stay tuned for that. So I wanted to draw Natasha in a sort of high-tech laboratory or military installation setting, imagining that she infiltrated the facility at night when suddenly a spotlight is lit, revealing our super spy, Black Widow. Okay, the rough sketch is done, time to break out some pencils to finish these lines and to add more details. <laughs> Natasha Romanoff aka Black Widow is a fictional character appearing in American comic books published by Marvel Comics. Created by editor and plotter Stan Lee, scripter Don Raiko and artist Don Heck, the character debuted in Tales of Suspense No. 52 in April 1964. The character was introduced as a Russian spy, an antagonist of the superhero Iron Man. She later defected to the United States becoming an agent of the fictional spy agency SHIELD and a member of the superhero team The Avengers. The character has appeared in numerous forms of media such as animated television series, video games and films with Scarlett Johansson portraying the character in several Marvel Cinematic Universe films. Okay, let's talk about how I approach drawing tech backgrounds here. The idea is to draw a wall you can find in some kind of high-tech laboratory or military installation. These type of backgrounds are very common in comics and they are great fun to draw because you can let your imagination go wild and invent your own world. And like everything, we can reduce tech backgrounds to basic shapes like squares, rectangles, circles and last but not least trapezoids. These will form the base of your background. Usually I start by putting in a grid of horizontal and vertical lines. For this of course I use a ruler. And once I've got my grid down, I start by putting in the basic shapes I just talked about. And I try to find an interesting composition that looks good to me. You cannot really go wrong here, it's all up to you and what you want your background to be. And also I'm already thinking about depth here, so I imagine that some of the shapes I'm putting in are in reality holes in the wall, revealing cables and little tag details. You want to go for balance here and a nice variety of bigger wall panels and more detailed parts like a computer console or something. A little trick that really works well while drawing tech parts is putting double lines in some areas. They really look cool and futuristic. It's also a fun idea to leave small gaps between your panels, revealing just a hint of what could be cables or other tech details. This sells the idea that there is a lot going on behind your wall panels. And to finish things off, make sure your lines that are first away from your light source are thicker than the ones closer to the light. This will really bring your background to life. I hope this mini tutorial was helpful. Let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to address in future tutorials. Now that the pencils are done, it's time to kick this drawing into the last phase and that is... Thinking time. Here we go.
that's it for this week's video. I hope you guys liked my Black Widow illustration. And if you did, why not hit the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and hit the bell to be notified when I put out new videos. It's every Friday, a great way to start the weekend. And if you want to help me and this channel even more, please share this content on all your social media platforms. It helps a lot. I wish you all a great weekend, my friends. We will see each other again next Friday. Bye.